Uh, Tim Allnut, Head of Rugby Operations for Connick Rugby. Yeah, obviously um, when we got the draw for uh, Poe, it was um, after we played Bristol and we got uh, qualified obviously for this, uh, for this round in the Challenge Cup. Uh, preparation basically started straight away, so we had quite a good lead in time for the Poe match. So we had a lot of time to establish our travel route, um, hotel, uh, you know, our bus carriers, etc. And um, you know, so the luxury of having a, a, a long lead in for a game like that obviously lets us plan to every minute detail. And um, you know, that's why I think everything for the for the weekend for the Poe match actually ran quite seamlessly. And it was a, a long trip, but a successful one at the same time. Yeah, so with, with the, um, the, the tight turnaround uh, from, I suppose, the match of, uh, against Poe, we didn't have much of a lead in time. We weren't too sure where we were going to be playing, when we were going to be playing, etc. So um, we were obviously watching the, the, the Treviso uh, Lions score um, to give us some indication whether we were going to be at home or away. And then obviously then it was down to us and, and, and the boys on the, on, the, on the field to get the result. And as soon as... Um, you know, we'd, we'd, the final whistle blew against Poe, like obviously there was a lot going on behind the scenes in terms of we have such a tight turnaround, there's so much pressure involved to, to get things turned around so quickly, like we've spoken about having a long lead in time and then obviously there was the reverse for, for this coming weekend, so there's, um, yeah, the, not, it wasn't panic stations by any stretch, you know, uh, Pierce Keller at, at Keller Travel had spent time with myself. Um, looking at scenarios and, and possible routes and how we were going to get there and get home. Um, and obviously, as soon as that final whistle blew, Pierce was on it, but also so were a lot of the fans and, and booking their routes to get to Treviso as well. So it, it does limit actually the, the, um, the flights and, and the routes uh, available to us. And um, yeah, we, after discussions with uh, stakeholders involved, like obviously the CEO, Willie, um, myself, uh, Pierce at Colour Travel, uh, Neven Finance and um, obviously Pete, the head coach, we, um, we, we, we were lucky enough then to secure a, a charter plane. Um, it was just the, the cleanest uh, route uh, and way for us to travel to Treviso, um, otherwise it was going to look like we weren't going to return back until to Galway until late on Monday evening. So. Um, for us, it's, it's been, it's been, there's a lot been going on over a really short period of time. But um, in terms of the things that go on behind the scenes, obviously, first and foremost, you have to secure your flights. Um, then it's on to, to CityLink to make sure that they have a bus available for us. And they've been, they've been brilliant in, in turning that around really quickly for us as well. Um, securing hotels in, in the location that we're travelling to. And then obviously each department here, like say Gavin Rackard and Nutrition, he has um, sp uh, specific requirements that the team would, would need for, for an away trip. And once we've identified how long we're going for, then it's to tailor that menu uh, for the hotel in, in Treviso. Um, you know, Mikey Kiley obviously has a week to plan leading into Treviso and we couldn't really do that until we had that route planned as well. So he's on a tight timeline. Um, and then the coaches obviously have their, uh, their session plans to, to, to establish for that week as well. And again, that can't be done until they know the days that we're travelling and you know, when and where. So there's a lot tied into it. Um, and once we've established obviously the route first, then everything else just flows on. And um, you know, we've been doing it for quite a while now, so the boys are pretty used to, to pushing a button and, and making sure that we have everything that the, the players need to hopefully put in a really good uh, week of preparation and then you know we get over there in, in really good time obviously on the on the charter plane now and you know we're we're um, we're well prepared when we when we hit, hit Treviso